I remember seeing images and trailers for Dear God years ago and I thought that this game looks beautiful. There's something about pixel graphics done right that looks better in my mind than games that try and go for a more realistic look. When I finally got my hands on Dear God, the graphics lived up to my expectations but sadly the game itself did not. You start the game as a hunter that gets killed by wolves as he shoots a deer and is then transformed into a deer by the Dear God to make up for past sins. As a deer, you find new quests to undertake as you run through the world and get good karma for killing predators and bad karma for doing bad deeds. You travel through a gorgeous pixel graphic procedurally generated world moving through different environments like forest, desert, ice, mountain, swamp and caves. You start as a baby deer and the longer you survive you grow up and eventually become an adult deer. You also unlock new abilities as you complete quests and pick up items to help make your journey easier. The two primary abilities of your deer are jump and dash attack. The platforming and jumping actually feels pretty good and you use the dash attack to take down predators that would hurt you or other deers. For the first hour I really enjoyed Deer God. Travelling through the world with soothing music was actually nice but as I played I started to understand the mechanics better and realised that there actually wasn't much more to the game and disappointment began to sunk in. And then frustration. The hunger meter was the worst aspect of the game. You need to find food constantly or the hunger meter will reduce and once it hits zero your health starts to fall until you die. The world is procedurally generated so others may have had a different experience but I found so little food in the world. Every playthrough became a race to find the next save point before I inevitably died. It was not worth taking the time to find enemies because it may result in me not reaching the next save point and I'd have to go back to the last save point. The hunger meter was overly punishing. It was especially annoying when I found a cave that had more food than I could possibly need and since you couldn't carry extra food with you it was mostly wasted. You can gain extra lives that let you respawn where you died with the same evolved state of the deer. I did not find them very often though but they were useful when they appeared. Around 4 hours into the game I was in a good position with 5 extra lives and a fully grown up deer. I saved my game and shut it down feeling for once confident that those lives will give me a decent amount of distance travelled before I do eventually die. But when I reloaded the game I was a child deer again, my lives were gone and the world to the right had disappeared. There was no way for me to progress in the game. I travelled backwards to the left and my quest objectives did not spawn. I had encountered a game breaking glitch that meant I had to restart the game. This wasn't the only bug either. The frame stutters a lot, especially in forested areas where there are lots of objects on the screen. After playing for 2 hours I had a headache, which I feel may have been due to the constant frame shaking. It got worse the longer I played and had to stop. The headache returned when I played again for more than an hour. After 4 hours of playing I was forced to restart the game, or just stop. With the frustrating gameplay and screen stuttering I could not bring myself to replay the game again, so I just stopped. In addition to the hunger meter the karma gauge was also a source of frustration. When you come across a friendly deer they'll follow you for a while. When you leap over a pit of spikes they'll keep following and jump straight into it. This will count against you on the karma meter. I found it so annoying that there was nothing I could do to prevent it and it counted against me. I emailed the publisher and asked if there would be a pre-release patch to fix the bugs and I got no response. Even without the bugs I would not recommend buying this game. The hunger meter ruined what game there was by making every game just a dash to the right for a checkpoint. Couple that with the game breaking bug and the headache inducing stutter and this is a game to avoid. Oh and the load times are 30 seconds each time you die just to make the experience worse.